It's time now for the period show. Four o'clock news. Monday, November 24th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I got four o'clock news headlines here on this Monday evening here. And our top story at four o'clock here is Defense Secretary Chuck Cagle and President Obama have announced the Pentagon's chief resignation on Monday has kept weeks of speculation about Eagle's future and resin questions about just how much she butted heads with White House officials. A grand jury in Missouri has reached a decision on Monday and whether to indict Darren Wilson, a white police officer who shot and killed unarmed black teenager Michael Brown in Ferguson in August. Secretary of State John Kerry and Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif before meeting in Vienna on Sunday as white Iran and the U.S. need each other more than ever. Des Bryant catches a game-winning touchdown for the Cowboys against the Giants comeback. Security pros don't need screaming headlines to put them on alert about a dangerous new place and malware. New and present are usually enough to do it as Fred Stealthy and Nasty will open their eyes a little wider. Traders are pictured at the desk in the front of a German share price index tax board at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange on November 21st, 2014 as the equities rise after the similar singles and dollar dips. As we take a look at the stock market report here on this. Monday afternoon, Dow Jones 1787 up 7.45. SP 526.45, up 5.95, and NASDAQ 47.59, up 41.92. The National Weather Service issued a winter storm watch for central western Massachusetts Wednesday as a quick move in northeastern was forecast. In Berlin, a Swiss museum said on Monday they would accept the German recluse request of a trail of over 1,000 artworks ordered during the Nazi era. Police and security services will get new powers as the UK faces a terror threat perhaps greater than it was ever been. The Home Secretary says, In Jerusalem, three Arab men were arrested on Monday on suspicion of a spent seven. Two Israeli Jews in Old City and an Israeli police spokesman said, Extended the spate of violence that has rolled in Jerusalem for a month. Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has caused controversy by saying women and men are not equal at a women's justice summit. In San Antonio, Texas, a male college student has been taken into custody for driving an unauthorized vehicle onto San Antonio Sports, Sam Houston, on Sunday night, sparking the lockdown and a full security alert official said on Monday. Boats are stored at a state facility on Monday, November 24, 2014, in New York, just Buffalo, just near Buffalo, and at a potential funding for melting snow after last week's lake effect snowstorms. In St. Paul, Minnesota, Coma Zone on Monday, that the baby grill was that was born to the first time mother Elsa has died, a zoo official said he and now we're being monitored around the clock since the infant's birth, but it was too difficult to measure how much time where it was. The Democratic National Committee on Monday went on its list of potential 2016 convention sites from five cities to three. Columbus, Ohio, New York, and Philadelphia were selected as the finalists. President Obama joked on Sunday that Americans won't want to hear from during the 2016 presidential election because he's lost his new car smell. And as a bitch that might be pulling back. On cloud sales, it tries to woo younger, hipper drinkers. U.S. stocks have paired gains in an afternoon trading as waiting by sliding shares of telecommunication companies as investors look to head under a busy week of economic data. Chief Executive and Chairman of the United Technologies Corporation, 2008-2014 Chief Operating Officer, United Technologies President of Jet Engine Manufacturing Subsidiary, Pratt & Whitney. Apple on Monday tearing up to, with a red campaign founded by U2 singer Bono to raise money to fight AIDS. The move came as a California-based maker of iPhones, iPads, iPods, and Macintosh computers showed deeper support for social media. One Carlos Perez covers... Google Apps users take more responsibility for protecting your accounts. In New York, Frank Scotty, a 90-year-old former NBC employee, is the latest to go public with the stories of Bill Cosby's past that for Friday reports Scotty, who worked at a facility manager for the NBC Brooklyn City where the Cosby show was filmed, told the New York Times that he helped Cosby pay off women. In New York, British rock star Singh is joined in the cast of his deeply personal Broadway musical, The Last Ship, calling the bold capital to save the show from sinking. In Yakima, Washington, and parents by a valid comedian Bill Cosby and Yakima has been canceled to admit numerous allegations of sexual assault. California's coast curves has gracefully ran Monterey Bay past Redwood Forest, the title salt marsh in Strawberry Fields, the serene, Senate Blaley's the night shot, what looks below the bay hides and 
on Water Canyon, deeper than the Grand Canyon home. It was to measure the thickness of Antarctic sea ice and the portage gauge of environmental conditions that is remote polar region in a time of global climate change has proven to be a tricky task. It is great for the reprocessed picture of the Jupiter's moon, Europa, shows the mysterious natural satellite and amazing colors as they've been never been seen before. A banner reads that hands off on us. Ben Andre on the gate of the infectious disease institute of Rome as an Italian doctor has contacted Ebola and Sierra Leone as being flown back to Rome as a special treatment the health ministry says. We will provide you with a drop down we always saved articles when you are registered as oh. FDA adds box warning to devices used to remove uterine fibroids. Alright, let's take a look at New England Incident Alerts here at 405 here. In Drake, Massachusetts, the first long fire, eight long pond drive, a serious mattress fire inside a residential structure, a command request and a man was to the scene. In the river, Massachusetts, on Broadway, a sovereign bank, a car reports an individual allegedly at their apartment was stolen by another individual on a bicycle. Take a look at sports news here at 405. The Pablo Sandoval Red Sox deals done, pending a physical. Pat Quinn led field of fires in his historic street, and Pat Quinn, legendary NHL coach, dead at the age of 71. A 33-year-old or a man said he was attacked by members of Johnny Menzel's entourage by a hotel lobby early Saturday morning after he tried to approach the football star. Randy Johnson, Pedro Martinez, and John Spots are three of that combined for nine Cy Young Awards headline at the 2015 Hall of Fame belt. And tonight, the Boston Bruins will be at the Garden tonight, taking on Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Game time, 7 o'clock. All right, take a look at the traffic situation at 4-6 here, and it shows Safi's Express on a southbound side, slow from... Three and Quincy all the way out to the Brain Tree Split. Brain Tree Split backed up on both ends. One twenty nine on the North Van Tide, slow from the split down to thirty seven in Brain Tree and crown towards twenty four in Randolph here. One twenty South Van Tide is backed up from the pike down for Route Nine in Wellesley. One twenty nine South Van Tide is backed up from Fort Two Twenty Five Lexington all the way down for Route Twenty in Waltham. Mm, Tippin Hill Tunnel South Van slow from the Zaken Bridge all the way down for the pike. Mass Pike Little West Van Tide slow from Newton Corner here. Route 24 here. Accident near Route 139 in Stockton here. After you pass 139 here. On the northbound, southbound side of 24 after 139 here. And 93 on the northbound side is backed up from Summer Square to Bedford here. Route 1 slow from Riviera all the way down to Saugus here. And 393.95 mile from 120 to the New Hampshire border except 93 northbound the Little Soul. From 495 and Andover down to 110 and launch. Due to some road construction in Methuen here, right lane on I 93 closed. On northbound at exit 46, route 110, stop and go traffic from exit 44, route 495 and Andover. Route 495 and Andover here. And 128 and exited on 129 on the southbound side in Beverly here near Gordon College, so expect some delays here. 495, a little slow around the long stretch here. 95, 24, a little on from 120 to the Red Island border here, except 24, stop a little slow around 128 here. And for the New Hampshire Highways here on route, on the Spalding Turnpike, a little slow from Newington all the way down to near Route 4 in Durham. And exited on Portsmouth Traffic Circle on I 95, Portsmouth Traffic Circle here. And the main turnpike, a little on from Kittery all the way up to Augusta here. And take a look at Providence Area Outlook here. No. 95 on the southbound side, a little slow around Pawtucket Ash Scripps, doing an exit on 95. Southbound near Exchange Street in the Pawtucket here. 95 southbound is back up for Brent Street in Providence, all the way down for downtown Providence. 195 westbound, slow you approach to 95, doing an exit on the 95, northbound near 195 here. 295, more on time from Malibu, Dane for Warwick here. 146 is back from 104 in North Smithfield, down for 99 in Cumberland here. 95 is up inside the back up from Route 4 in East Greenwich, down for Coventry here. And James Island and Newport Bridge is a more on fine here. Okay, looking at the Worcester traffic outlook here. Route 290 on the south side. It is back up from downtown Worcester, down for Route 9 here. And 495, more on five from Ames Bay, down for Wareham here and Born and Sagamore Bridge with Mullan Fine. Twain's Mullan Fine from Born and Falmouth. Route 6 Mullan Fine from Sagamore down to Orleans there. And all the highways in Springfield are Mullan Fine. There, 91 Mullan Fine from Agwam down to Greenfield. And Pike Mullan Fine from 
Westbrook all the way down to the New York State border here. Peter Chalmers on 409 here. 10 out for the traffic. 10 out for the weather report here. For today, Petrified Gulf West. Most of the cars got a low about 33 degrees. Southwest went about 10 to 6 miles per hour. That's 31 miles per hour. For Tuesday, Petrified between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Most of the signs got about 59 degrees. Southwest went about 10 to 13 miles per hour. For Tuesday night, chance of rain before 5 a.m. and a chance of rain is still a podcast it's got a low about 34 degrees. West went about 3 to 7 miles per chance of rain is 30%. No, 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 snow accumulation expected. Wednesday, rain and snow black before noon. Then snow between noon and 3 p.m. And rain after 3 p.m. High 36 degrees. Calm wind becoming north around 6 miles by the afternoon. Chest patient, 8%. Wednesday night, rain and snow before 4 a.m. Then a chance of snow. The rain can be heavy at times. All around 31 degrees. And chest patient is 8%. Thanksgiving day, a chance of snow shot before 7 a.m. Most of the cars got about 40 degrees. Chest patient, 30%. Thanksgiving night, most of the cars got a low about 22 degrees. For Friday, most of the time, podcast got about 36, low about 17 degrees. Saturday, Puck the same, most of the got about 38, low about 20 degrees. And for Sunday, Puck the same, guys, the podcast got about 44, low about 25 degrees. And for Monday, most of the time, got about 400 degrees. Norton temperature, 600 degrees, overcast and breezy skies. And that's coming for the period channel, 4 o'clock news, and it's Monday, November 24th, 2014. I'm Peter Wings, if you have a good day, and I will see you. Have a good evening, and I'll see you for the 11 o'clock report. Have a good evening, and I'll see you at 11. Have a good evening.